Today we will talk about SMC's cobot end effectors, why these are becoming popular, and what types are available. Shown here is some of the terminology that we will review today. First being cobot, which is abbreviation of collaborative robot. These are able to increase productivity, optimize efficiency, or improve safety based on their automation design. Another terminology is EOAT, which is end of arm tooling, also known for end effectors that can be made up of grippers and vacuum as some examples. Universal robots, TM robot, which is Amron Techman, and FANUC are some of the cobot manufacturers. ISO 9409-1 is the ISO mounting bolt pattern used to connect to the end of arm to the cobot. <clears throat> Plug and play refers to the all-in-one incorporation of all components you need in order to operate the end effector. And in most cases that we'll talk about today, it includes the software as well. SMC is dedicated to automating for the future to support your efforts, whether it's focused on increased productivity, improved quality, better safety for employees, or the ability to refocus your resources to new tasks or projects. In order to achieve these goals, robots have been deployed with various end-of-arm tooling, mainly grippers and vacuum for pick-and-place movements. Although this is nothing new to automation, collaborative robots is, and they have become a popular choice by companies to help aid the workers in repetitive tasks or increase their efficiency of the task by replacing the workers to allow them to move onto another resource. SMC has the end of arm tooling products for both robots and cobots. The most interesting are the latest products developed for the cobot market, which by market trends focus on ease of installation and use. To say 2020 has been a year of new challenges would certainly be an understatement. The impact of COVID-19 has dramatically affected all industries, but perhaps the most impacted was the food and beverage. Customers in these industries are seeing the need more so now than ever, for increased automation as a result of COVID-19. One example for who needs this automation could be the poultry and meatpacking industries, as they can see a need for continued production with safety enhancements in order to achieve the goals of their industry. The requirement of social distancing and how to maintain safety for both workers and the product can be achieved with cobots for some of these tasks. Another example is the packaged food companies whom saw an increase in demand with the grocery store shelves being depleted as quarantine requirements increased throughout the globe. These customers saw a need to increase production in order to replenish the supply chain. Cobots can help increase the production by allowing them to add efficiency of the task or eliminating the person's labor in order to allow them to shift to another project. The need for automation is to increase safety, efficiency, and production. The incorporation of cobots to the automation design is now becoming popular for this reason. The general cost of cobots can range between $25 to $50,000 and allow rapid deployment to the production line due to their ease of programming. In many cases, there are plug and play options for the end effectors that can help support this effort as well. In all of the food and packaging machinery, the market growth is increasing to meet the demand, increase efficiency, and improve production in order to react to the trends and possible changes in consumer behavior. Cobots can help with these efforts. Here is our current Cobot product line. These products are the all-in-one plug-and-play options, which include the mounting flanges, the end effector, the valves, and any other tooling or components that are needed, such as auto switches, tubing, flow controls, and the valve itself. And in most cases, it includes the software. Essentially, it's everything that you need to get your Cobot up and running. In some cases, this can eliminate the need to have an integrator for the automation design of those tasks. Since the mounting flange, 
is designed and included as well as the software has been provided. The first product we'll look at includes the MHM Magnetic Gripper. This product was designed initially for universal robots and includes the ISO 9409-1 mounting pattern flange, the UR cap, as well as the, the valve and everything else needed to operate the end of arm tooling. No ISO 9409-1 is a mounting pattern, as mentioned previously. There are a few cobot manufacturers that utilize this, and some of them may have proprietary, which will differ from this mounting pattern. Please refer to your cobot specifications to understand the exact mounting pattern type. The next product features the JMHZ, which is a lightweight compact pneumatic gripper. The part number here is for Universal Robots, but it is also available for Mitsubishi Electric. A future release will be done for Fanuc and Omron Techman. The last product features the vacuum product line. The part number will vary based on the configuration for the number, shape, and material of the cups. For the food and packaging industry, the ZP3P series has FDA compliant cups and this is available as a standard option for this end of arm tool. The product release details is very similar to that of the previous JMHC. Although the products shown here are designed for the specific cobots listed, the products may be used with other cobot manufacturers. However, in order to do so, please check the mounting pattern, electrical connection, and settings, as well as the software needs. These products are not marketed for these other cobot manufacturers, but we do understand that in some cases they may be used by the customer in an alternate setting. For this, in case of the change, please consider utilizing an integrator as needed to update the mounting flange and the software programming, as well as any electrical updates that are required If you're interested in more information, please visit www.smcusa.com backslash cobots. Here you will find the brochures for the products, videos, as well as the latest information for SMC's product development. Here shown is the three products that we talked about on the previous slide. This video showcases SMC's plug-and-play cobot end effector, specifically designed for universal robots. This is an all-in-one plug-and-play unit that includes a vacuum injector, wide variety of cups, valves, and the pressure sensor. Here is the equipment configuration. As mentioned, the all-in-one also includes the M8 connector cable, mounting flange, supply and release valves, pressure sensor, and vacuum injector. To get started, simply mount the flange connector cable, and air supply. Then mount the vacuum gripper unit itself based on the configuration selected and download the UR cap software to the UR teach pendant. Note the distance of each su suction cup is adjustable. Now let's look at a few application examples. First we will look at the demonstration of the bellows cup configuration that is being utilized for the tube shape workpieces. The next example is the FDA bellows cup. As mentioned, this is a ZP3P series that allows the FDA compliant cup with its thin skirt design that is ideal for film absorption for wrapped items such as chips or snacks. Again, this is allowed to have a design that includes a vacuum saving valve for air savings when there's no workpiece present. This will help your energy savings efforts for your automation design. The next example we'll look at includes the flat shape cup configuration. This example here shows the utilization of the cups for picking and placing stickers. There are many varieties of the cups shown here as some examples. 
You can have with or without the suction cup flange. With the flange allows you to have one, two, or four cup configurations. Shown here are the flat cup types, the bellows types, and lastly is the FDA cups, which are the blue compliance material that is an available option. While SMC is continuing to develop solutions for UR, Fanuc, Amron Techman, and many of the other Cobot manufacturers, the current offering of products that SMC has does support the robot and Cobot needs. Many of these designs strive to incorporate compact lightweight features, which in some cases can allow downsizing of the robots and Cobots for investment cost savings. As you can see here, we have valves featuring the JSY and EX600 wireless series, grippers, pneumatic, electric, and magnetic type featuring the JMHZ lightweight and compact design, vacuum featuring the ZP3P series, FDA compliance, actuators including the JMGP and JCQ, as well as others that focus on lightweight, compact, and energy savings, and finally, the unique solutions, which include the Cobot plug-and-play kits, which we have discussed today, or some of our other specialty designs. Now we will go ahead and look to see if there are any questions.